And right now, an emergency warming shelter is open in Colombia due to those dangerous temperatures. This also comes as Colombia leaders discuss changing the temperature at which they open these sites. ABC 17 Chanel Porter joins us live from the Wabash bus station. Chanel, you were at the council meeting last night where the city's Commission on Human Rights called on them to change the opening temperature, which is currently 9 degrees. Devin Lucas, in this report, the commission said that there's many cities that has a higher threshold than Columbia, including Lawrence, Kansas, which has a threshold of 35 degrees, and St. Peter's, Missouri, which has a threshold of 20 degrees. Today, I spoke to Curtis Hartley with the Salvation Army, which opens its doors overnight when temperatures fall below 35 degrees. He said he believes that the city should try to do the same. Any of us who go out shopping or are coming home from, from work uh, after dark, we, we recognize how cold it can be for the short time that we have to be out there. Uh, so then we can only imagine uh, the discomfort, the, the, the frustration, and in fact the danger as the temperature gets uh, below freezing. The struggle to find warmth during the winter months is hard for some, but the Columbia City Council said opening up the emergency warming shelters more often would have challenges. If you raise that temperature to the point people are going to migrate from those I think are well-run, well-staffed, volunteer, in, in city supported operations to something that is not well staffed. City manager DeCarlin Seawood said the staffing concern is not just with city staff members. It's manned by a police officer. As you raise the temperature, that means you're going to have more opportunities for use, which means currently a police department that's really taxed, you're now taking someone to to provide security for this location. While some council members are looking for further advice on this topic, others say they cannot keep putting this off. This has been a discussion piece since I was on the Human Rights Commission, which has almost been a full year now. Weiner said the council should also be cognizant of the fact that it is the middle of January and temperatures will likely continue to remain low. Reporting live in Columbia, Chanel Porter, ABC 17 News. Other warming centers are open overnight, including Room at the Inn, Rainbow House for Youth, True North for Domestic Violence, and more. A full list can be found on our website. That's abc17news.com.